Hi DMF stoppers and welcome to the channel. Duan here and today I will be giving you some tips and guidance about the Miaspoor trail in the Toys Kloof Pass. I will have chapters in the timeline below so you could navigate the video and all the details for the Miaspoor hiking trail in the description below. Let's get to it! The Miaspoor Trail is located on the Detoeskloof Pass and it follows a trail up the mountain to the peak. The Detoeskloof Pass is about 100 kilometers outside of Cape Town on the alternative route to the N1 National Toll Road that goes through the tunnel. The pass itself is even beautiful to drive and you can also stop along the way and have a picnic if you're not into hiking. But hiking to the top of the peak is definitely one of the highlights. Making a booking for this trail is mandatory and this can be done by contacting Cape Nature. I will have the details for them down in the description. Cape Nature manages various nature reserves within the Western Cape. Please note that the Miaspoor Trail is not behind the locked gate and access can be obtained on an honesty basis. This trail is a there and back trail which means you hike on the trail up to a point and then there's a turnaround point where you hike back all the way on the same route to your starting point. There are a few places to stop along the way, including some viewing points and also the Italian cross that can be found at the top of the mountain at the turning point. Appropriate apparel is required for this hike. Some items of note are clothes that can get wet. In the summer you may want to take a plunge in one of the streams along the way and in winter time there are quite a few places along the route where the actual path becomes a stream from all the water coming down the mountain. Comfortable clothes for hiking. I would suggest you wear comfortable clothing and either a long pair of pants or something like leg warmers to protect your ankles and legs from scratches obtained from the very dense bush along large parts of the trail. Shoes with decent grip and that can preferably get wet. The trail has quite a few places with very steep inclines and on your way back that will turn into very steep declines. So it's definitely suggested that you have shoes with decent grip. As also mentioned, there's quite a few places along the route where the path actually becomes like a little stream from all the water coming down the mountain whenever there has been rain. So I would definitely suggest shoes that can get wet or are waterproof. I would also suggest you take a hat or a beanie. In summertime it can get quite hot on the trail and then it would be handy to have a hat. In the winter time it can get very cold again and then it would be nice to have a beanie to just keep your ears or head warm. Definitely take food and drinks with for the day. Take enough snacks to keep your energy up throughout the day and also take lunch with to eat before you head back down. Once you've reached the plateau, there are quite a few nice viewing points that you overlook the mountains towards Wooster's side. I would suggest one of these places to stop and have lunch. And there are also some waterfalls that you can see from there. Take enough fluids with to drink throughout the day so you don't get dehydrated. Please also note that alcohol is not permitted on this hiking trail. Some other essentials to pack in case you need them. Sunblock a basic first aid kit, a towel, a pocket knife, a torch and a whistle, a waterproof bag to maybe put some things in that shouldn't get wet, like cell phones. And there is also cell phone reception on many places on this trail. This trail is quite difficult and I would rate it at about an 8 out of 10. Unlike the Rock Hopper Trail I covered previously and I'll have a card up in the top, the Miaspoor Trail at least has a path you can follow, although you need to keep your eyes out because at some places the trail is quite overgrown. Because of this, many hikers have also started to pack some small rocks on heaps and you can use these piles of rocks to navigate the route as well. The trail is indicated as 8 kilometers long, although my watch showed 10 kilometers, but I think that might be because I stopped and walked into some places to take some pictures and admire the beautiful views. If you are fit, I would say this route can be done in about 4 to 5 hours, although it is indicated as a 6 hour route, which is quite accurate. I would recommend doing this trail in the winter time on a nice clear day. 
Although we went on a cloudy day and got rewarded with some picturesque and moody views. I would not recommend this however since it could be a bit dangerous if you are not avid hikers. Once you ascend into the clouds the visibility becomes really bad and I'm sure most people prefer a clear view rather than a foggy one. The view from the top of the peak is the reason we went on this hike. It is right at the top of the mountain and has beautiful panoramic views over the entire cape. It also features the cross that was initially placed there by Italian prisoners of war in 1945 who also built the pass. Hiking to the top is definitely a challenge but the views are worth it and once you are at the top I would say the hike back down is definitely not as strenuous as the way up. This is an amazing trail to hike with many beautiful views. Even though the goal is to reach the peak, there are many other beautiful views to enjoy all along the route and even quite a few waterfalls after some rain. It is however very important to take your fitness level into account for this hike and also ensure you are sure footed to avoid falling. I highly recommend this trail otherwise. That is my thoughts on the Miaspoort hiking trail. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video please drop a like on it and comment your thoughts and questions down below. It really supports the channel more than you realize. If you found this video informative or helpful at all, please subscribe for future videos and click the bell icon so you get notifications whenever we upload. And then I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.